probably we having this boot camp i think after a very long time it's been 3 years since we had an in person uh, community connect event i'm so glad that we are having one today right. today i'm overwhelmed with a lot of emotions wide range of emotions excitement gratitude and deeply deeply humbled to be standing here as a representative of the sunbird community as a community we have come a very long way and i want to thank every single organization who has helped us in this amazing journey so we got around 35 plus organizations who have contributed to sunbird so far but that's not interesting what you see over here is you got wide range of a diverse mix of organizations you got large tech giants to small boutique players you got ngos of all sizes small medium large right so there is no other open source community that probably uh, has a diverse uh, such such kind of diversity as you see on, on this screen over the last 5 years this community has contributed we are talking about some crazy numbers here and i personally had lot of fun putting together this slide 15 million lines of code 300 plus apis 150 plus community of ecosystem developers 0.5 million plus engineering hours so when you have a community which is as diverse as the sunbird community focusing on a mission to create a societal impact there is nothing short of magic that's going to happen and that that magic is sunbird right so sunbird has its own evolution story but today today sunbird is a set of configurable building blocks each building block is interoperable is autonomous and is built to cater to a specific set of generic set of capabilities for example let's say we are talking about a, a test prep kind of a use case you would probably look at you know picking two three building blocks assembling them together to crack that use case i'm not going to go deep into that how you do it because over the next two days we have subsequent sessions where we have uh, folks talking about uh, these things and eventually our goal is also to have uh, the folks in the development track at least uh, you know be able to understand these building blocks at this level and be able to take back uh, these learnings now let's look at uh, as a community the impact that uh, sunbird ed has on Uh, created so far right diksha the national school educational platform is powered by sunbird ed right and these are some of the numbers from diksha usage right so we have got around 60 billion plus minutes of learning in the last 5 years 5.1 billion learning sessions and we're talking about uh, 600 million plus textbooks with a qr code in circulation these textbooks provide a equitable access to learning opportunities to every single child in india right and we are talking about crazy number of 200000 plus pieces of content in 33 different languages which are currently on diksha there are 7 million plus teachers who have done some sort of capacity building programs either uh, by the state governments or the central governments leading to around 167 million plus enrollments and we have issued close to 100 million plus credentials just to give you a perspective just to give you a perspective of this numbers uh, if you look at edx edx is one of the top global mooc players uh, they have probably issued close to 1.4 million credentials in 2021 and we have issued close to 100 million plus credentials diksha powered by sunbird ed right 200000 plus pieces of content in 33 different languages there is no other platform the face of the universe who has actually done this right and then for all the tech geeks out here i think this is something uh, would excite every single engineer that i have uh, spoken uh, with so we at the peak i mean during pandemic you know the usage has actually you know uh, gone north right during peak diksha has actually hit 25000 uh, tps and there are very very few platforms in the globe who actually operate at that scale scale and diksha powered by sunbird has actually 
been able to do that with 100% application availability. Right. Similar to that, there are other significant uh, implementations. For example, Sunbird RC specs have been used to issue 2 billion plus uh, vaccination credentials, not just in India, but five other countries. Now, if I go on, probably I'll spend the next uh, two days just talking about these numbers. So I'll skip uh, most of them. I'll probably a story for uh, another session. So just um, imagine uh, the impact that one, like, one line of your code can have, right? I mean, this is just the use case of Diksha that I talked about. I've not gone into the other uh, implementations of Sunbird Ed, right? So there is probably no other opportunity uh, in the open source universe or multiverse uh, which gives you a chance to actually create an impact of this scale. There is no other opportunity. I mean, I can bet on that, right? So just imagine, and then like Mani was uh, introducing in her, uh, uh, in her address, don't think of it as, um, when, when we say contribution, it's not just a single line of code. It can be someone saying, hey, I can help someone else because I worked on this specific capability in the discussion forums. That's a contribution. And uh, probably you would say that I would like to write a PRD for a functional uh, use case. That's a contribution. Contributions are of multiple types in the open source uh, world, right? So just think about it. Now, uh, I, have, I personally have uh, two wishes uh, 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 as part of uh, this session that I'm giving and the next two days. For the folks who are, we, we have an interesting mix of participants uh, today. There are folks who are uh, newbies to Sunbird, including uh, representation from the student community. And there we have uh, folks who are veterans of Sunbird community. So for the folks who are joining us, I would personally like all of you folks to you know, be active contributors of uh, Sunbird. And for the rest of the folks, I would uh, love to see you continue doing what you do best, help other folks to be a successful uh, contributor. Thank you. Welcome once again. <laughs>